Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Okay, so what I'm about to show you in this video today, guys, I'm sure that a lot of you do not know about this. Also, I'm pretty sure that a lot of YouTubers don't know about this. The reason I'm saying this is because I've looked on YouTube and nobody's made a video on it. So remember, guys, you will have seen this here first from yours truly, the Android Doctor. So what I'm about to show you guys is how to remap the home button. Yes, guys, the home button can be remapped. Um, but the thing is, why a lot of people don't know about this, to remap it, the settings is, well, the option is hidden deep within the settings. So it's pretty hard to find. So when I long press on the home button there, it launches the Google Assistant, as you can see. But I'm going to show you how you can actually disable it or you can set it to launch something else. So just go into the settings and scroll down and look for apps. So select apps and then choose default apps and then select digital assistant app and then select device assistant app. Okay, so here we have a bunch of different options. So like I showed you, by default, when you long press on the home button, it will launch the Google Assistant. But if you don't want it to launch anything, just select none. And now when I long press on the home button, nothing happens. So it's totally disabled. Or if you want it to launch Bixby Voice, just select Bixby Voice and then hit OK. And now when I long press on the home button, it launches Bixby Voice. Or if you want it to launch the Finder, just select Finder, hit OK. And then when you long press on the Home button, it launches the Finder. Or if you want it to launch Samsung Internet, just select Samsung Internet, hit OK. And then when you long press on it, it launches Samsung Internet with all your shortcut to applications like Google, Amazon, Galaxy Shop, Argos, and all those other things. So I'm just going to totally disable it because sometimes I do accidentally long press on it and it launches the Google Assistant. So I'm just going to totally disable it so that now when I long press on it, nothing happens. So yeah, guys, remember you've seen this video here first. Um, be sure to like and share this video. Also give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. Also subscribe as well if you're not subscribed to my channel for more videos. Hit that notification bell so you get notified the second I upload a video. Anyway, I'm out. See you in the next video, guys. Doses.